Hey everybody, Jared here for the Smoking Android once again. And today we're doing a video on ROM Cleaner. Yes, ROM Cleaner. What the hell is ROM Cleaner? Well, ROM Cleaner is a really, really interesting tool actually. Um, you can use it for both. Actually, I would personally recommend it for those of you that either, well, not either, but just want your stock ROM intact. Of course, you have root because this won't work without root. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe you like the stock ROM and um, you just want to remove a bunch of bloatware <clears throat> and, and do a bunch of other stuff as well, which we'll get into later on in the video. You know, but it also if you have um, a custom ROM, you can actually uh, uh, modify the script a little bit to remove certain things that you want. Um, so let's go ahead and just do a quick little walkthrough of what we have here. So as you can see here, we have the standard Samsung Galaxy S3 bloatware from Samsung. So you've got chat on, you know, Samsung apps, uh, a bunch of stuff, more services, um, you know, all kinds of junk that, you know, we just don't need. Mind you, the i9300, at least the unlocked international version, um, doesn't really have any carrier bloatware. But of course, there's always some proprietary apps from Samsung, right? So... Let's go ahead and see what happens when we run the script. Now, what you're going to want to do, of course, I'll be putting a link in the description below for you guys to head on over to this thread. Um, and if I could just actually, the gentleman's name, actually, there's a team, but the gentleman's name is uh, Patrix83. I hope I'm saying their name properly here. If I'm not, I do truly apologize um, because this developer definitely <laughs> deserves some respect. Um, but anyway, so taking a look at that bloatware, <clears throat> now you'll be pushing this to your SD card, so, you know, get it on your SD card, no matter how you want. And again, I'll reiterate this again, you want to make sure you have uh, root on your device. So we're going to go ahead and power off our device, and we're going to jump on into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And obviously to get into uh, recovery, <clears throat> it's uh, power button, volume up, and home button. If you don't already have a custom ROM installed that you know has the ability to boot into recovery from the power options. All right, so here we are. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. And uh, we'll just refocus that. So we're going to go ahead and go down to install zip from SD card, SD card. And we're going to go ahead and locate the uh, recovery, or I'm sorry, the ROM cleaner. So this is ROM Cleaner version 1.1. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that this is available for um, multiple devices, not just the Galaxy S3. So just a quick list of them. Um, you've got this for the Desire HD, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Desire HD, the Sensation, Incredible S, the Gene X, I believe the TF201 1X, the 1S, the Galaxy S3, and the Evo 4G LTE. Now, if you want this available on more devices, I strongly encourage you to fire off an email or a private message on XDA to the developer, and I'm sure he might be willing to work on adding your device to the list. So anyway, so we're, we're here, we're ready to go, and we're gonna go ahead and launch it. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and zoom back out again so we can get a, an idea of what's going on here. So as you can see, uh, we've got ROM Cleaner now running and booted up. And um, as you can see, it'll give you your specific device that, you know, obviously to make sure you've downloaded the correct one. Now, in a lot of these um, different device XDA threads, you'll find um, a specific thread for those devices in the development threads, if that makes any sense. I said thread like 14 times there. Um, anyways, <clears throat> so you will have to... Um, find your specific device thread. Um, I'm not going to be linking all of them in the description below because that'll take me forever um, to look through everything, but I will be linking the one for the Galaxy S3 for those of you that do have the Galaxy S3. Um, so here's just, you know, your terms of use. Uh, gives you some information um, that I really recommend you read because this is a really useful tool. And in order to utilize it properly, you need to read. Um, I know we all hate reading, but you didn't get to where you are right now without reading. So um, here we go. So ROM Cleaner will remove apps and files from your device. Uh, basic ROM Cleaner setup removed too much apps and files after running. Just download ROM Cleaner underscore user dot TXT from ROM Cleaner thread over at the XDA forums and make your personal edits. More details can be found in second post. Uh, ROM Cleaner is well tested by us and thousands of users and should not make your phone unstable if you do get into trouble. 
make a post in the adequate ROM cleaner thread and we will help you. So that's some great support from the developers. Obviously, if you do have any issues, ask them. Um, I'm no expert on this tool here. Okay. So if you do have any questions or it doesn't work or whatever, please don't ask me in the comments below. I don't know. I don't know how to help you. Um, I just really thought this would be a useful tool for a lot of you out there. For me personally, I probably won't be using this. Um, but I thought it was a really, 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 really neat script. So, uh, again, a lot of you may find this useful for me. It's something that I'm probably not going to use now important. When you flash this script, you will heavily modify the ROM. So before you report bugs or non-working apps in ROM development threads, think twice and please feel free to ask us first. So what that means is the ROMs or I'm sorry, ROMs, the applications that you're going to be removing sometimes has certain relationships with other functionalities of your device. So if you remove those applications, it may hinder the functionality of certain aspects, right? So where one thing may work before you removed all of those applications, it may not work anymore. So, I mean, again, that's up to you. So myself and the developers of this tool are not responsible for anything that happens to your device um, and so on. So anyways, as you can see, the requirements are you can read this. Now, again, guys, I'm really sorry for talking. It's just this is sort of important. I needed to get that out so you guys don't screw up your devices. Um, we're on six minutes now in the video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started here. So I agree with the terms and uses, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and click next there. So main menu. We've got the backup tool. You've got your ROM cleaner, additional scripts, logs collection. So any information and things that may go wrong, you can always uh, fire that information off to your to the developer. And you can find those logs on your SD card. <clears throat> uh, a nice how to use guide. This is something you're going to want to read through. Okay, this gives you information on how to use ROM cleaner. Um, how do you use the ROM cleaner underscore user dot text and uh, different flashing orders when to flash and stuff like that. They've made it very, very, very simple. But I just wanted to show you guys how it works. Okay, that's the purpose of this video. So um, we're just going to go ahead and click an additional scripts to show you some cool stuff here. Uh, settings restore. So um, what you could do, say for instance, you're going to do a bunch of like removing of things like TouchWiz and, and so on. Um, you can actually back up all the settings, that being Bluetooth pairing, you know, your TouchWiz launcher settings, your mail accounts, um, third party widgets, uh, Wi-Fi keys, all that good stuff. And it'll back it all up for you. And if you need to restore it for whatever reason, you've got the option there. Um, you've got the setup wizard remover. So when you first boot your device, now this tool is actually designed to be used, um, right after you flash a ROM, not even after the first boot, you flash the ROM and then you do this. Okay. Um, so that's where this would come in handy. That way you can just skip past the, uh, the setup wizard. Personally, I usually just fly through the setup wizard whenever I install a new ROM, because I like, I prefer to set it up, uh, manually as opposed to using the setup wizard. So that's kind of useful for me. Um, apps and mods installer. This will basically, if you have any applications, like uh, APKs on your SD card or different <clears throat> mod scripts, things like that on your on your SD card, you can use this tool to flash those while you're in here. So after you flash a ROM, jump into here and you can start making the adjustments and flashing scripts and things like that all lickety split. So that's really nice. Um, this one down here is also run all scripts in one go. We'll go ahead and click back. And we're going to go ahead and just jump into ROM cleaner here. Now, keeping in mind those applications, that bloatware that we uh, saw previously, um, also skip cleaning setup. So if you want to test a full ROM, but still want to restore your apps, you would choose that particular option there. I don't really know that isn't very useful to me at all, but some of you might find it useful. Um, so we'll click next. Now this is where you get to choose if you want um, a launcher to replace the TouchWiz launcher. So if I didn't want TouchWiz when I got back, then um, I would just select one of these. So let's just say for instance, I wanted Holo Launcher, right? Um, now this one says restore my apps. Note you must have first flashed backup tool for this to work. Now we haven't flashed the backup tool, so I don't need to select that. Um, install files and apps from first boot folder. Uh, use this option only if you manually added files or apps to this folder. Um, so I haven't done that either, so I won't be selecting that. So I'm going to go ahead and click next <clears throat> and you are now ready to begin installation. Press next to continue. So if you want to review or change any of your installation settings, press back. You can always press the back button there, right? If you don't want to do this at all, or you just want to modify things. So now it's doing its thing. As you can see, it's starting to flash. And this is very, very quick. This should only take just a moment. Go ahead and keep it on camera while we're doing this as well. Boom, we're done. So 
uh, now what it's done is um, it's it's used the default ROM cleaner.txt. Remember how I mentioned that you could uh, modify things and edit things, uh, options and what it removes and what it doesn't remove in that, um, you know, what was it? ROM cleaner underscore user dot text. Well, that's what it's talking about. You can actually have predefined settings in there. You just have to use note plus plus which I will never use myself. Again, this isn't uh, a tool that I particularly would use, um, you know, after ROM flashes. I just thought this is really, really cool. I wanted to do a video because I know a lot of you out there are going to find this useful. Um, so, okay, we're going to go ahead and click next. And uh, please leave feedback, blah, blah, blah. It's going to reboot now. We click finish, reboot now, yes. So we'll just let this do its thing. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut the video and I'll bring it back as soon as the device is fully booted up. All right, so we're back. The device is fully booted up. We're going to go ahead and unlock that. As you'll notice here, it's asking us which launcher we want because we selected Hollow Launcher. We'll go ahead and pick that. And uh, it's checking for updates because it, this is actually, uh, um, I've recently flashed the uh, original stock firmware to this. So um, it's going through a bunch of stuff saying you should probably update your software, but I don't want to because this is just a video uh, long story. Anyways. So you'll notice here that Hollow Launcher is obviously installed. We'll jump into the uh, applications men menu here. And oh, where did all the that bloatware go? It's gone. That's it. This is our apps list. Poof, right? There's no chat on. There's no Samsung recommended apps. Nothing. It's all gone. Just functional core applications that all of us use. So that's really great stuff. Um, so... Like I was mentioning before, you know, you, I, I'm going to, I'm going to be posting the link in the description below. Again, this is compatible for those multiple devices. Um, the instructions go with the exact same, um, the types, the, the different, um, applications, the different bloatware apps that, uh, the script removes is different for each device, obviously. Um, and so on. So, you know, really, really useful tool. I highly recommend that you read all the instructions and everything on the thread for your particular device and uh, kind of go from there. Uh, one thing I did just think of that I think with this, uh, this script would be really useful for is let's say, for instance, <clears throat> you know, you flash, hypothetically speaking, right, just as an example, um, let's say you flash CM10 and there's an application in there or a couple of applications in there that you, every single time you flash an update or, you know, a CM10 ROM or whatever, um, that app's always there and you don't want it there. So you would edit that um, ROM cleaner user underscore user dot TXT script, okay? And, and you would, you know, have it so that it removes that application every single time after you're done flashing the ROM. And maybe you want to add an application. So what you could do is set it up and edit it so that it removes those apps that you want and actually flashes and adds certain apps that you want. Obviously, as long as you have those applications, APKs on the SD card, right? Um, so basically what would happen is, you know, oh, it's time to, you know, flash a new update. So you download the update, you flash it. And as soon as you're done flashing the update, you would run this script, this ROM cleaner script. And because you have predefined, predefined settings, it would automatically remove those applications that you wanted gone, right? Again, you would predefine those in that text. And it would also go ahead and flash those applications that you do want predefined applications in that text file um, for you all automatically, which is, I think, really, really cool. So anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, obviously, a very, very useful tool. A uh, big shout out to, again, Patrick's 83 uh, for him and his team developing this. Um, you know, obviously, if you want to, or I definitely recommend you giving them a thanks or hitting that thanks button on, over on XDA you know, get his uh, recognized developer status up a little bit more. Always appreciate it. Um, and yes, I will be posting a link in the description below, like I said, 14 times. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for me. Thanks again for watching. Uh, show me some love by hitting that likes button down below. And um, if you haven't already, you might want to consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. And until next time, we shall see you in the next video. Cheers.